Daddy Jack's coat with the blues. So, Megan, my, my, my favorite soup growing up was a, a lamb barley soup. After my mom make a roast, you know, usually Easter, we do a roast like a lamb. I did, we just did a roast like a lamb video. So I had some nice chicken, uh, some lamb stock. I roasted off the bones when they're all done. Um, so here's here's the gravy that I had left over from, uh, but I'm gonna use the rest of the lamb that I have right here. So uh, I made a couple of, you know, nice uh, lamb, hot lamb sandwiches over toast. And, but this is all left over, so that's gonna go into my soup too. So we're just gonna Get that simmering on the back. I took, uh, you know, celery tops, everything that, uh, you know, wasn't good enough really to put into the soup. Like this here, for instance. I cut, you know, cut the ends off of this. But, you know, you got, this is all just uh, some organic celery we got, you know, and some of the out outer parts were not not doing great. So, so you could, uh, you know, just take your, take your peeler you know, a lot of people end up throwing in the garbage. You know, in the restaurant, same thing. Cooks, you know, cooks don't care. You know, a lot of times, you know, they'll they'll uh, throw good stuff in the garbage. You know, I hate I hate it. So, uh, but we're gonna we we'll cut our vegetables. Now it's important. All the trim just put off to the side of your cutting board. Come a little closer. So you see how we cut for the diced the carrots. And uh, so, you know, with soup, you know, it's nice to have uniformity in your vegetables. I always think so, anyway. Um, so get a uni uniform dice to it. See this right here? I cut the very end off, but this is good. I mean, I, I, I put this all, the whole thing right in the soup. That bottom line, that bottom, when you, uh, It's some of the best flavor that right next to the you know to the root. See we got right there. See, I'll even dice, I'll even dice the bottom of the root. Then uh, for the celery, watch how I do it. Come here, Keith. Look. See? Cut it right down. There's quick, quick dice. The onion, see, you got the half an onion. pot to the cutting board. See? All right, so I got the barley going. I, I don't want to cook that in the soup. I'm going to cook it on the side. So, um, got this is fiddle diddles, fiddle heads. And, uh, Save that for another day, another batch. How much does this cost, any idea? Bulk, you know, cheap. Got all the veggies ready to roll. Okay, so we just let that stock cook a little bit more. And then uh, we're gonna dice up, dice, dice up the lamb. I'm gonna fry it up. A little bit of you know bacon grease, miscellaneous grease. I keep it in a cup instead of using butter. Every few days, you know, boil it up, simmer it up, you know. 
But I want to show you, this is what my mother used to make all her old-fashioned meat grinder. She she grind all her own scraps and for her cod cakes, she grind her, her uh, she hooked that onto the counter. And uh, we'd always have the uh, rice, our mashed potatoes. That was our chore, you know, she'd call us in, whoever was around, mash, mash the potatoes for dinner. Old school. See, that probably hadn't, we hadn't probably used. That's it. Okay. I'm gonna have my cousin or somebody paint it up, you know, bring it back to life. So, our skillet's nice and hot. Them up a little bit, you'll get uh, some of the fat cooked off into it. See the nice stock we got? That uh, that extra gravy. It didn't thicken it up a whole lot because we had very little flour in it to begin with, and it's concentrated down, you know. So look at that beautiful, rich stock we have going on. There's a telltale smell of that lamb. Either you love it or hate it. <laughs> There's no middle of the road. So this for this for Jeremy right here. I don't care what flavor you got. If you got it in the bottom of your skillet, you go. Know, don't waste it. That's it. We're gonna bring it back to the nice simmer. And uh, once those vegetables are nice and tender, but not overly cooked, because we want to keep the uh, the texture of them. But we know our vegetables are there. We're gonna add the mushrooms. Then we're gonna add our barley once it's cooked. See, I got the rhythm, but not the lyrics. Axel, come on, come on up here. A little leftover uh, potato, potato. So, get it, Titus. Get it, Titus. Okay, see, look. See all the starch in the water? So, we don't, you know, that'll cloud up your soup. So, we don't want that. So, we're just gonna come over and uh, run some water over it. We don't want all that starch in our soup. One nice, nice. Okay, get right into our soup. Uh, our mushrooms into it and essentially just bring that bring that back to a simmer and uh, it'll be ready so check it out now okay, beautiful soup cost nothing I mean really the barley the little bit of vegetables we put in there the stock Mom, I love you. Hope you rested in peace. You worked hard your whole life. Made it to 93. You left behind me behind your uh, have your all recipe index cards. Uh, one of my most prized possessions because every time I pull out one of your recipes, it takes me back to when I was a kid. All the special holidays, uh, special memories. We're blessed to have these days, even though it's some hard times with the coronavirus and self, you know, uh, quarantining and. But you know, we're making the best out of it and hope you do too. Uh, we're gonna bring that up to a simmer and we're gonna test it out. Slide is easy. So what I, as I was saying earlier, I love, we used to have saltines as a kid. But uh, I love these here. 
uh, Milton's. I couldn't find them in the store, right? You know, when things got started to get tight, you know, in the grocery store. So I ordered them up. Amazon. Jeez. What would we do without Amazon? I don't know. Oh. Okay. There we go. This is how I love to eat. Right here. So I already checked it for... Uh, see back here we got our stock stock going I was telling you about just slow simmer it now right there you got flavor put those onion peels that I had earlier just let that slow cook never hard boil it you know the stock will stay nice and clear so this is done right here look at that that nice soup see now watch how see you want to do a nut you see your uh, ladle doesn't drip you know, get stir it up so you get off the bottom. Dip it. See right there. See? It gives you like a half a second. I wish, you know. Here, let me see. I'll show you what we're gonna do here. A little bit of. Uh, that's what we need. A little parsley. Got to get some herb. Plant a little some herbs going on. This is it. Look at this for next to nothing. You know, packing the mushrooms. They were two dollars. The barley was like a dollar. The vegetables maybe another 50, 60 cents, 75 cents. The stock was free off that leg of lamb. And you know, just a little bit of meat. You don't need a. It's not a stew. This is a soup. And. Uh, this is Daddy Jack's Cook with the Blues here. Cooking, a little music going on. Axel, Axel, you've been good and you ran hard. He's a good boy. So, uh, you know, we love you all. Uh, stay stay healthy, stay safe. Listen to what your governors are telling you. Some are saying maybe go back to work. Others are saying, you know, the federal government is great, but, you know, it's, it's, state, it's state laws first. That, that prevail. So respect your, your local politicians, your state politicians. They'll lead us in the right direction. Dad Jack's going with the blues. Peace.